Alright, so we've got the overview guide set up on the left here. So firstly, I'm um, going to just go through the interface. So there's the main interface overview. Um, that's just this box here. Um, at the moment you can see my desktop because that's what I'm recording. Uh, if I turn it off, it'll just be a grey screen. Um, secondly, the first thing you need to do is to set up a scene. So I'll press add scene here, we'll just call it uh, whatever. So scene one, for example. Um, now the screen's black. Um, so you can, as I trans, as I switch between the scenes, you can see um, the screen coming becoming black and red. I'm just clicking here, yeah. Um, so while we're here, um, I've, at the moment I've got got it set up to have my record my desktop. If I wanted to add a software capture, so I add a game capture for for example for Dota, um, just call it you know game capture Dota. Um, and then it'll pop up with like a list of um, programs it can capture from. At the moment, I don't have Dota open. Um, so what I'll do, I'll set up, I'll open up Dota, wait for it to load. Alright, so it's open now in the background. I'll tap back into the program. Uh, now I can add Dota. So I'll press add game capture. I'll select Dota, stretch, that's fine. Capture mouse cursor so it um, sees what I'm. I'm moving around in the game and leave invert cursor on click off because um, it looks ugly, that's why. So I got that, and then now you can see that I'm capturing my Dota screen. Um, Alright, so that's all working. I'm gonna take this off. Um, because now you set it up, um, but because it's for the purpose of this recording, you can't see it. Okay. Now, section three, so there's audio levels here, that's your microphone, um, your speakers. I just leave it at default, it's fine. This is the button, there's a button here normally to start streaming, stop streaming. I'm not going to press it because that'll stop this recording. Um, you can press preview stream once you've set up your Dota game capture just to see what it looks like, um, but that doesn't actually stream, it just shows it what it lo looked like in the final recording. Um, let's see. Alright, that's pretty much everything you need for this screen. Now we're going to go through the general settings, so I'll, they have this here. Um, I'll just go through it myself as well. So general settings, you can make new profiles. Um, call it whatever you want, just for what are, like different types of uh, recordings, uh, just to make it easy to switch for you. All right, so the yeah, as I say, here the most confusing part of setting up OBS um, encoding, um, because we are recording to hard drive and not to stream, um, we ignore all these words; they're kind of irrelevant for us. What we need to do, um, just for quality balance, select eight to ten. Um, Probably just pick 10 because it looks the best. Max bit rate, um, it can be from 6,000 to 10,000, um, depending on how much hard drive size you want. Um, I have it a little bit less just so I can save the time on uploading. But if you want it to look good, just set this to 10,000. Um, that should be, and call it balance 10, and that should be like perfect settings. Um, for bubble size, set it the same as whatever you have on your max bit rate. Um, audio settings, leave it at MP3 bit rate, it's 128. Just good default settings. Alright, so now let's go to broadcast settings. Okay, so broadcast normally if you want to stream it online. Um, um, we're just gonna we're gonna what we're gonna do, we're just gonna stream it to our hydro, so record it to hydro basically. So we choose file output only. Uh, pick somewhere, like make a new folder somewhere, you can have save all your recordings, you can see I have all my recordings here. Um, then you have a start stream, stop stream hotkey. And then you can just set it to whatever. So I have set mine to my two right, far right most keys on the keyboard, just so it makes it easy to start and stop um, whatever I want to record instead of just having to I don't know, Alt Tab and press the uh, button over here to start and stop streaming. Okay, so next settings, video settings. Um, have a read of that. So your base resolution is whatever just leave it um, as the size of your monitor it should be 1920 by 1080 
um, because that's what most resolution sizes are. Uh, with resolution downscale, um, so that's if you want to uh, have the file output, like the recording be a smaller size uh, than the recording in. So that it's recording your full desktop size, um, but you can have it to output to a smaller size, uh, which means that the the video file won't be as big on your on your hard drive, uh, which makes it easier to upload and like it'll be uploaded quicker. Um, however, if you want to keep like, the maximum details and resolution, just um, leave it at none. Um, with FPS, um, 30 is fine. Um, 60 if you want to have really high quality recordings, but it's usually not needed. Um, like 30 is just fine, really. Audio, okay. So with audio, um, so set the microphone to your microphone. Um, at the moment, I have pushed the talk off because I'm just recording my voice talk, speaking into the computer. Um, but normally, I have a push the talk set on. So for when I'm recording me playing games, for example, um, so it only records the, my voice when I press the button to push the talk. Uh, you can hear it in the background. Um, so when I press it on to talk, um, you know, talk to whoever my teammates are and so on. Um, it only records my voice then. It doesn't record any like auxiliary background noise, things like that. Um, and it will avoid the whole speaker resonant effect that happens sometimes with mumble um, if you have your sound coming out of speakers and not your headphones. Okay, with advanced, um, if multi thread operations is not tick, tick that. Um, otherwise, leave everything by itself and that's fine. Um, there's a little bit more on the guide here about setting up your scenes and sources. I, have a read through it. Um, so I'm using software capture at the moment to capture this window, um, but it's easy just to use game capture. It says it's experimental stage, but it's, I find that it's worked fine for me. So yeah, that's there you go.